Hey, this is Nate with Cena, and today we're checking out the latest version of the Samsung Gear VR virtual reality headset. Now this is available now for $200 and it works exclusively with the Samsung Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge smartphones. And it brings a pretty cool virtual reality experience you can take with you anywhere. The Gear VR hasn't changed all that much from the original Gear VR we saw back in December for the Galaxy Note 4. It's still powered by software built by Oculus, the Facebook-owned VR company that makes the Oculus Rift. It's also still called the Innovator Edition, a signal from Samsung that while anyone can pick one up, it's really aimed at developers and not the average consumer. The new headset is about 15% lighter than the last model, and you'll use it in exactly the same way. Tuck a Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge into these notches on the front here, and the phone will snap right into place. The straps on the top and side have been tweaked, so the headset is a little more comfortable. The touchpad on the side has been recessed, and there's a little notch, so it's a bit easier to find. The same goes for the back button. You can't wear glasses while you're wearing the Gear VR headset, but a focus wheel up top lets you adjust the focus to suit your liking. I was told it should work for folks who are nearsighted, with a focal range up to about minus 9 diopter. There's also a fan built in, but you can't see it and I can't hear it. It's supposed to keep the phone from overheating and keep the display from fogging up. There's a micro USB port on the bottom of the headset, but I was told it won't actually charge the phone. It'll just keep the battery from draining so you can keep playing for as long as you're willing to be tethered. The headset is light, and while it took me a bit of time to get things set up just right, I eventually found a fit that was comfortable and offered a great virtual reality experience. I played one game that turned my swivel chair into a jetpack and made me fly through rings and hunt robots around a giant city. And then I watched a few movie clips and checked out 360 degree images of places around the world. Virtual reality is going to live or die based on the content that's available, and I still feel really awkward and isolated whenever I put one of these things on. But making it available on a mobile phone is a great first step. This could be a neat little bonus option for someone who's VR curious and already owns one of Samsung's new smartphones. Head over to CNET for all the details. I'm Nate. Thanks for watching.